This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Core Mining, Mr. Scott Treblecock. Scott, how are you today? Awesome, Gerardo. Thank you so much for taking the time. You had some news that was really interesting to me here a few days ago, and let me read the headline. The headline reads, Core Mining Launches Project ACES, A Clean Environment for the Salton Sea. So I started digging into it a bit, and you and I chatted in Beaver Creek that you had um, some ideas and some initiatives that at that time you couldn't really speak about, but that would be very beneficial environmentally um, for the part of California that you're working in. And so I, as always, took it with, you know, kind of grain of sand and kind of thought to myself, well, how is core mining <laughs> looking to do something that's yeah. going to be environmentally friendly, right? And so when I read the release, I got to be honest with you, I was absolutely blown away by how logical and practical um, this, this, this initiative is and just how much of a difference to the area in a positive way, um, not just to the environment, but economically, this will be if, if, if it works out the way that it's envisioned. So I say all that to say, can you please explain for people that haven't read the release or aren't aware what Project ACES is? Because I think it's going to be extremely consequential um, for your multi-asset you know, production profile that um, is one of the most undervalued in the entire space, right? Yeah, 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 great. I'll I'll try to say it in as few words as possible because it's like 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 everything. It's it's got some complexities to it when you try and tell it in sort of the thirty second story. But you know, I think I'll, I'll read the second line of that news release, and then I'll I'll bridge into what it is. The second line of that release is improving the lives of local stakeholders, mining with a difference, and and Project Aces is using mined material that was already going to be mined as part of the Imperial Project's gold mine to solve a need for construction materials in the local community for an environmental cleanup. And the cleanup is of this, the toxic beaches and receding shoreline of something called the Salton Sea, which is an evaporating salt lake leaving behind toxic beaches in a large number of the local communities around our project. So you have this mine, there's a couple ways to think about it. You know, I think about the net project of our gold mine combined, combined with project ACEs as a aggregate project, fixing a major environmental problem for a huge part of Southern California that is subsidized to be zero environmental impact by a gold mine. That's one way to think about it. And and by helping fix the salt and sea, we're literally saving lives due to the, you know, large impact of respiratory d disease to, you know, children and adults across the Imperial Valley. So, you know, I, I think there's a real positive to come from what is now more than just, you know, a gold mine bringing jobs and taxes. And let's be absolutely clear. This is a 116-year-old problem, correct? This isn't a recent problem. This isn't something that uh, politicians haven't had time to address yet. Um, this is no. this is an over century old problem, correct? Yeah. yeah, the root of the problem is over a century, century old, and there is you know hundreds of millions of dollars of long-term state and federal money that's going to be required, required to clean up this problem. And, you know, the problem arises from the fact it's hot in the desert and the Salton Sea is an artificial lake that's evaporating. And it's got 100 years of, you know, agricultural, industrial, and um, uh, you know, residential pollution that is settled in the bottom of this lake. And when it dries up, it leaves behind these uh, toxic beaches that find material that blows around the wind and, and harms local people. This not only has the potential to be very, very environmentally friendly, but it also has the potential 
to contribute to the local economy in a pretty significant way. And when I say the local economy, this is an area that has, you know, higher than average unemployment rates and and some of the lowest incomes in all of California, right? I mean, we're talking, I believe the release highlights over $1.1 billion in investment for Imperial County in the state of California. I think it's over 500 construction jobs. Can you walk me through that aspect of it? Yeah, exactly. Like behind this net environmental positive. So, you know, improving the lives of people in Imperial County, not all, not all, you know, also through helping their health through Project ACES, but we are also bringing that fundamental economic backbone to a very poor part of California with, you know, like you, you, you hit the numbers. We've got, you know, 1.1 billion in investment going into the county in this project to ACES and the gold mine. You know, construction jobs, permanent jobs, and, you know, all of the taxes and government payments that go along with that is the tax base that, you know, these parts of California need to sustain the infrastructure for their communities. And I think that story combined with, hey, and by the way, all of this brings a positive environmental impact, you know, is really getting the attention of local stakeholders and state and federal level politicians to say, Hey, this is, you know, more than just a gold mine that's put another hole in the ground. We're going to leave behind no trace of the gold mine on federal land. And because all of our excess materials go into the salt and sea, you're fixing this huge problem. A politician is going, that's something that's interesting to me. That's something I can put political capital behind. And that's ultimately what you need, you know, to build a mine in the United States. Excellent work on that front, um, identifying the opportunity. And I have to believe that you're going to get overwhelming local and state level support um, from all sides. Let's pivot a bit and remind everyone that you are still a mining company and that none of it happens if you're not able to advance your projects, right? How are things coming along on that front, Scott? Yeah, absolutely. So we're currently uh, working with, so we are on federal land, Bureau of Land Management land in uh, Imperial County, California. We're currently permitting a drill program for 2022 on the exploration side. We've got a team of local professionals based in the county that are building that social license to operate. And in the very near term, we want to be putting in our mine plan of operations to start, you know, marching down that multi-year process of permitting a mine at the site because we believe that between the economic and social benefit, this project is something that's going to garner support. Looking forward to it, looking forward to the last month or so of the year. And then 2022, I think, is going to be a pivotal year, not just for the gold price and the gold space, but for core. Is there anything else that you'd like to add to that? I mean, when you think about core as a company, we also have our Long Valley project where we've been successful in receiving permits. And we're currently looking for, albeit very rare, (laughs) so challenging but we're looking for a drill to go uh, put some holes in that property. So I think we've got the ability to generate news flow and do the things it requires as a public company, a small public company to grow. But I think underlying that there is this fundamental value creation from taking a 2.2 million ounce deposit at Imperial and put it, moving it towards production. And ultimately that's the big, uh, you know, value creator for Corp. It's a big prize at the end of that road. What's the market cap at right now? Oh, we're currently about uh, 50 million market cap. So a lot of value to create. I think we had almost a billion dollars of NPV between our two projects at $1,600 gold. So that's the type of value you try to create by investing capital in in these types of gold projects. 50 million to a billion. um, And that's before drilling and additional ounces. Quite a disconnect, right? That's absolutely. that's uh, That's the value creation proposition. Great. Scott, thank you so much for your time today. Have a great holiday and uh, we'll chat soon. Yeah, wonderful, Gerardo. Gerardo, have a great uh, great holiday yourself. Cheers. Appreciate it.